Hi, welcome to Arsenal Fan Zones, the show that brings you the latest update as it concerns Arsenal. Guys, we're just a few numbers away from 400 subscribers. Please hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. Okay, there has been no shortage of links as of late and of course one player who has been constantly talked about in this conversation is Ivan Tony. So what's up with the Ivan Tony deal? The Brentford striker is rumored to be the number one target for Arsenal. As a matter of fact, it is rumored that Mikel Ateta has asked Arsenal's hierarchy to prioritize signing a new striker in the January transfer window, and the Brentford star has emerged as the number one target for the Gunners. The 27-year-old will be preparing to return to football on January 17, once he is done serving his eight-month ban for breaching the Football Association rules on betting. The failure to convert Claire Court's goal-scoring opportunity was again evident as Arsenal suffered a 2-0 defeat against West Ham United last week in the Premier League. The Gunners had a whooping 77 touches in the box of the opposition's penalty box without scoring. In fact, it was a new Premier League record. Now, the possibility of the striker coming to Arsenal may not be easy. This is according to Alan Smith speaking on Sky Sports. Smith is believed to know a lot of people within Arsenal and he says that he's been told that the club actually need to sell players for financial fair play reasons. Having spent over £200 million in the summer, it is understandable that the club may not have the luxury to spend so much but of course they need a striker of Tony's calibre. Well it seems the only way out now is to sell a couple of French players. There are a number of sellable players in the squad right now with the likes of Fabio Vieira, Aaron Ramsdale and of course Emil Smith Rowe. And if the club must buy, one or two of these players must be sold. According to David Olsten, if Arsenal does not sign him in the next two transfer windows, they could get him on a free in 2025 and he claims that could be the case. Meanwhile. Midfielder Thomas Partey will not participate in the African Nations Cup this month after Ghana opted against selecting him for the tournament. This is according to Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano. The 30-year-old has been out for weeks and will remain in North London to continue his recovery. Well, this might sound like good news to Arsenal as they can have Partey in the coming weeks. The midfielder hasn't played for Arsenal since the 8th of October almost three full months, missing the last 17 games across all competitions. Partey picked up a knock in training ahead of their Champions League trip to Sevilla later that month and was forced to undergo a specialist procedure for treatment on a tie injury in November. Ateta has said he's yet to train with the squad. His exclusion from the squad can be understood given that Ghana's first game will be on the 14th of January and playing three games in eight days would be a huge task. Well, at the end of the day, the decision is fair for all parties. Next, for Arsenal, we'll see them against Liverpool in the third round of the FA Cup on January 7, before resuming Premier League action against Crystal Palace on January 20. Hopefully, Partey could be available for the game against the Eagles. All right, guys, what are your thoughts about the recent development? Please drop them in the comment section and let's have a conversation. Again, thank you so much for joining me on the show. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, let's take this to 400 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get to know when there's a new video. I'll see you some other time.